In the blue corner, first up, Jesus Aguilar. You know, these guys are young professional athletes. They have very bright futures ahead of them. And uh, they're His on opponent, a big stage. Daniel Gonzalez. What's interesting about uh, both Gonzalez and Aguilar is uh, both of their last fights uh, were actually against the same opponent. Inches tall, fighting out of the deep throw and base camp in Fresno, California. His opponent, Daniel Gonzalez, slightly taller and one year his elder, fighting out of the A. Two of the top teams in the sport of mixed martial arts in California. And this fight is a guaranteed fireworks, ladies and gentlemen. The referee in charge for this bout is Ed Calantes, and here for the official introductions once again is John Rayhoy. In the blue corner. He's 22 years old and fights for dethrone MMA out of Fresno, California by way of Ensenada, Baja, Me Baja California, and Mexico. His professional record is two and one. He is Jesus Loverboy Aguilar. And in the red corner, Fighting for AKA in San Jose. Got a love here for AKA. He's 23 years old and is undefeated as a professional with two wins and no losses. He is Daniel Prodigy Gonzalez. Yeah, Gonzalez definitely Your referee for this fight is Ed Colante. As you can hear it from the crowd. Colantes is our referee, Gonzalez is ready, and Aguilar is ready, and these two young gladiators are ready to throw down. The cage door is locked, and round number one is officially underway. Gonzalez in the gray fight shorts, Aguilar in the black fight shorts. Daniel Gonzalez is one of the most fun fighters, uh, one of the most entertaining fighters to watch. Look at the way he moves. He's just, you can tell he's having fun in there. Yeah, very unorthodox. Hard to see where, hard to see where he's coming from. Floria punches thrown there by uh, Aguilar. Looked like Gonzalez was going for that takedown. Aguilar able to stake it off for now. Daniel Gonzalez does an excellent job reversing the position. Just a reminder that this high-caliber MMA fight is brought to you by MMA Raw, NorCal Fight Shop, oh, Bomb First, ExecuShield, and made possible by BrightPathVideo.com. Aguilar, Aguilar got out of that clinch and landed an elbow on his way out. Nice inside leg kick land. Oh, high kick just misses from Jesus Aguilar. Nice leg kick by Aguilar. And Gonzalez with a leg kick of his own. Almost looked like a low blow. Not sure what happened there. Oh, nice inside leg kick, follow up by a straight right. Gonzalez looking to find his range. Gonzalez does a nice job catching the leg kick of Aguilar. And Gonzalez like, now has double underhooks. This is uh, not the best position for Aguilar to be in. And now uh, Gonzalez has his hands locked. That's going to put him in a nice position to take down Aguilar. And now Aguilar looking for uh, almost like a judo throw there. So far, back and forth with the control against the cage. As uh, Jesus Aguilar seems to be the one controlling the cage fight uh, right now. Both fighters back to the middle of the cage. 
Aguilar looking just a little bit stiff. See, look at the way he's got his hands up like that. He's not moving around too much, whereas Gonzalez is just all over the place. Right, right. Once again, he's a 125-pound flyweight division. He's one of the fastest, <laughs> fastest and quickest fighters uh, that we have uh, in this division, both uh, Gonzalez and Aguilar. Nice knee to the body landing by Aguilar. Ooh, nice elbow to the head by Aguilar. Capoeira kicks on him. Yeah, it looked like a little Capoeira style there. It's just so much fun to watch the way that Gonzalez just almost dances around the cage. Oh, a nice clean kick is by Aguilar, and it's caught by Gonzalez. Well, he's caught about two of those kicks so far, so uh, Aguilar probably uh, might want to change that, that game plan up, but we'll see. Ooh, looking to nice see off. Yeah. Oh, look at the way Daniel Gonzalez laps it off. So entertaining, both men. Vicious knees thrown. Oh, the referee did not stop the fight. He can't, he can't do that. Gonzalez has to keep fighting, low blow or not. If the referee did not see it, he cannot stop fighting. Yeah. I mean, in all sports, but especially this one in particular, uh, unless the referee actually steps in, you just keep going, you know? Because yeah. your opponent is definitely not going to stop. Exactly. If you don't want to look away, like they say, protect yourself at all times. So far, a very exciting first round by these two flyweight contenders here. Ten seconds remaining in round number one. Oh, Gonzalez able to land that Last takedown. minute takedown landed by Gonzalez. Let's very see nice how first round. Yeah, let's see how much that plays out. Plays out in uh, this first round. Gonzalez was able to land that takedown. Uh, the last last ten seconds of that round. Other than that, it was pretty even throughout that whole round. Aguilar did uh, seem to control uh, the cage as far as the cage fight goes, but maybe uh, pinning Gonzalez up against the cage for a little longer they would able to uh, maintain that dominant position. But uh, we'll see what the referees have to say about that round. And the cage door is officially locked, and round number two is underway. Leg kick checked by Aguilar. Nice jab lands by Gonzalez. Oh, nice lead. Uh, looked like a, I want to say a left straight, but it went kind of oh, like that's a huge leg kick, but he catches it. And it looks like that body kick from Aguilar might have hurt him just a little bit. Nice straight right to the body landed by Gonzalez. Yeah, Gonzalez was great with those body shots. So far we have another very technical striking matchup here between uh, Daniel Gonzalez and Jesus Aguilar. There it goes again, he catches that leg kick. Beautifully timed, like, like he goes down for just a second, but back up to his feet is Jesus Aguilar. And now we have Gonzalez controlling Aguilar against the cage, landing some body shots. Yeah, you notice a lot of these pro fights, uh, especially tonight, they end up in this position where one man is pressed up against the cage. Uh, a lot of fights have gone this way. I guess in, in a sense, it's almost kind of like a way to get a little bit of a rest in. I mean, obviously you're still working in there, but uh, you're not exerting as much energy. Oh, definitely. And you know, in these pro fights, there's actually a lot more you can do from these clinched up positions than uh, in the amateur fights. You know, in the amateur fights, for one thing, uh, they're not as long, so the ref is more inclined to stop them so that the fight, uh, the action can resume. Definitely. And also, you can't really do as much in the amateurs because you can't knee or elbow to the head. Whereas in these pro fights, uh, 
pretty much anything goes. And uh, there's just a lot more uh, possible outcomes if the fight were to end up in the position. Exactly. <coughs> Both fighters back to the center of the cage. So far, so far, it's just a chess match here between these two flyweight fighters. Neither one of them want to give an inch. Both being very cautious, conscious of the other's speed and the speed and accuracy, I'd say. However, those of those, those of you who are just tuning in, this is Dragon House 28. I am Liddell Noah, sitting alongside of Brady Green. Uh, we are here in San Francisco, California, right here in the heart of the city at Kizar Pavilion. And here we have a flyweight matchup between Daniel Gonzalez and Jesus Aguilar. Oh, that was a big leg kick that landed. So far, very well, even matchup. that jab in his face and followed up right with that right. I see Gonzalez's nice inside leg kick. Yeah, Gonzalez is finding his range a little more this round. Stepping in with his punches and uh, making contact more in the second round here. I think what, uh, what Daniel Gonzalez needs to do just a little bit better because he's already doing an okay job, but uh, what he needs to do just a little bit more is uh, really step into those punches. Yeah, agreed. Because uh, Jesus Aguilar is just so stiff out there that uh, it can be kind of scary to really commit to a punch when your opponent is that stiff because they're just right in, uh, right in your face, you know? It must be a little frustrating for uh, Jesus Aguilar. He's throwing those leg kicks, and, uh, I, and uh, Gonzalez is actually catching about at least, I say, 70% of those leg kicks. Oh, absolutely. Kind of taking that uh, element of the game away from uh, Aguilar. And especially uh, because Jesus Aguilar, his leg kicks are so good. And, right. uh, and then Daniel Gonzalez just has an answer for every single one of them, so that's incredibly frustrating. But that's a wow. beautiful takedown. Beautiful. And Jesus Aguilar finishes, and that could have. Uh, what a beautiful time takedown that was. You know that, that could have uh, that could have changed the tide of this uh, of this fight. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, that's a huge elbow that smashes the face of Gonzalez. Already now Aguilar is in Aguilar. full mount. What he needs to do here is posture up and land some ground and pound, which he's currently doing. They are right in front of us. Aguilar has Gonzalez stepped against the cage. There's 10 he seconds remaining in round number two. I believe that Gonzalez will weather the storm. And we will see the third round here tonight. That may very well be the exciting factor of this round here. That, that, yeah, that was an timed. incredible round for Jesus Aguilar. Yeah, perfectly timed double leg there. Ducked under the, ducked under the punch attempt of uh, Gonzalez and was able to grab that double and take down. And then immediately transitioned to full mount. So we'll see what the judges have to say, but uh, I think that round wins in favor of Jesus Aguilar, at least 10 to 9. And round number three is underway. Very exciting first fight of the main card here at Dragon House 28. Up into the last uh, about 15 seconds of that last round, this has pretty much been an all stand-up war here. Absolutely. Two very good, two very good skilled technical strikers going at it. It's always fun to watch, uh, watch fights like this. And to be at this high level of professional MMA competition at age 21 and 22. You heard him. You heard him with that right. Looking for a huge oh, slam wow. is Jesus Aguilar, and he gets it. Beautiful suplex there. Well, just as I said that, uh, the fight ends up on the ground. <laughs> Very nice suplex takedown by uh, Jesus Aguilar. No, Jesus Aguilar has taken the back of Daniel Gonzalez. Gonna look to get his hooks in. He's got one. Gonzalez needs to turn in uh, no. towards Aguilar. 
Gonzalez is doing a nice job controlling the head. He doesn't want the head of Aguilar to pop out, which it does. Gonzalez gets out of there, landing an elbow on the way out. Oh, that one rocked him. Oh, flying knee attempted by Gonzalez. Less than three minutes to go in our third and final round. And it looks like we got a low blow. Unintentional, of course, by Jesus Aguilar. Referee Ed Kalant says to stop the fight due to the low blow. Uh, now in this situation, Gonzalez will have up to five minutes of recovery time. And you know what? He was rocked by that. Uh, he was very slightly rocked. Yeah, but it definitely came at an advantage time for uh, Gonzalez. <laughs> Absolutely. But uh, you know what? He's all good. He says, let's fight. Nice combination there. Yeah, both Gonzalez. of these fighters have very fast hands. And another takedown attempted by Aguilar. Gonzalez all over it. Gonzalez looking a little bit in desperation mode here. Maybe he feels he's a little down in the, in the fight. A nice elbow landed by Gonzalez. So far I have Gonzalez winning the first round and Aguilar winning the second. Wow. Although just barely on that second round. Although I feel that uh, the third and final round will for sure be the deciding factor in this fight. Definitely. I like that. I like the way that the elbow of Gonzalez is forcing the head of Aguilar away. That's allowing Gonzalez to, uh, to control the clinch. Although he's backed up against the cage, Aguilar doesn't have much control when his head is being forced away like that. Now Gonzalez looking to tee off on Jesus Aguilar. His third round is in. Incredibly hard to call for the judges. Nice, a nice low single leg takedown. And Gonzalez will not go down, although he is backed up against the cage. And it looks oh. like Gonzalez looking for a rear naked choke. That's a deep rear naked choke. Rear naked choke out of nowhere. And the mouthpiece of Aguilar falls out. And he escapes the submission, but he's taking some heavy, heavy grounded pound from Daniel Gonzalez right now. What a turn of fortune here for uh, Daniel Gonzalez. Referee Ed Colantes is all over the action. This fight could be stopped at any time. There's less than two minutes to go, though, here in the third and final round. Oh, that's a huge right hand. Gonzalez, now, Gonzalez is going to look for a suplex. Yeah. And the crowd is on their feet, ladies and gentlemen. Referee Ed Colantes stops the action so that the mouthpiece of Aguilar may be put back in. And the crowd is not happy about the action being stopped. Yeah, especially because it kind of almost looked like Aguilar intentionally spit the mouthpiece out. There was no strike, there was yeah, a choke hold. Uh, it did look a little intentional. Yeah, but I mean... And uh, the referee will stand them back up. It was actually kind of a smart strategy, though, if you ask me. Yeah, it was. For, for two reasons. For one, it's probably better, better, uh, easier for him to breathe with that mouthpiece out, you know, open up that, uh, that, that air, uh, uh, air passage. And also because he got that little break. For the last minute of this third and final round, these guys are going to stand in front of each other and bang it out. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if Aguilar goes for another takedown, personally. Yeah, it looks like he's setting it up. Oh, a huge flying knee attempted by Gonzalez. Aguilar looks tired. He's looking for a reason. Oh, head kick. Now Gonzalez is teeing off on Jesus Aguilar. If I'm, his, uh, if, if I'm Daniel Gonzalez, I wouldn't necessarily be going for this clinch work right now because he was having a lot of success with that, uh, with that striking with his opponent against the cage. Yeah, he'd be better off to push away and... Keep swinging. There you go. And there are 10 seconds to go in this exciting flyweight fight. Those are huge shots landing from Daniel Gonzalez and a flying knee. And that's an incredible, incredible fight. Absolutely outstanding performance by both men. Daniel Gonzalez 
and Jesus Aguilar, the 22-year-old versus the 21-year-old. And what was one of the most exciting fights of the night so far? Yeah, that was a hell of a matchup there, uh, put together by promoters on low. Very, very, very technical strike strikers, uh, technical striking fighters uh, went all the way down to the last last seconds of the fight. This is going to be a good fight to, for the judges to score. I don't know. I think um, I think Daniel Gonzalez stole that fight in that third round. The first two rounds were very close, uh, maybe one 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 apiece. But I think that the deciding factor will be that last round, that third round. Daniel yeah. Gonzalez. Uh, you know, I have to give this fight a 29-28 decision to uh, to Daniel Gonzalez. But you know what? Daniel Gonzalez did spend a fair amount of time pressed up against the cage, and he did eat a lot of heavy knees, uh, although not very significant ones. He did eat them to uh, to his legs and body. Right. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Daniel Gonzalez wins via split decision. It seemed like Jesus Aguilar kind of ran out of gas toward the end of that third round. Uh, didn't really have any answers for those uh, for, for the bum, bum rush and flurry of punches thrown by Gonzalez. Uh, but I think it had a lot to do with fatigue. You know, after fighting for 15 minutes, or at that point maybe it was about 13 minutes, it was about two minutes left of the round before he started gassing to the team. Before I noticed that uh, he was gassed out. So, um, yeah, cardio, cardio is the, one of the biggest things in this sport. And I, uh, I really like the, uh, the mutual respect and sportsmanship between both men. Oh yeah, two two very great good warriors. I definitely will see definitely looking to see these, both of these fighters go far in this MMA game. Both of these fighters have fighters have a lot of potential. A lot of potential. Good job, hats off to both of you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges have rendered, rendered a split decision. The first card reads 29 to 28 in favor of the winner in the blue corner. Second card reads 29 to 28 in favor of the red corner. And the final judge scores at 29 to 28 in favor of the winner in the blue corner. Jesus Big round of applause Aguilar. for these two fighters. That was an incredible fight. fight. Decision. It must have been the first two rounds. It's got to be. Those takedowns. I'm exhausted having watched that. 15 yeah, minutes that, straight. That must have been. No, I need a nap. That must have made the difference. It had to have. Absolutely. It's got to be it. Great job. Although, Great. what an incredible third round by Daniel Gonzalez. He was very close to finishing the fight when he had the uh, the back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to keep this show. train moving. Definitely. I'm going to call the next fight. Security, please make way Great fight, as these fighters leave. We need to bring in the next set of fighters.